normal pregnancy, C-section, um, everything was normal. I didn't have any problems with Grayson until he was seven. I noticed that um, his leg was changing at the age of seven. I noticed a bow in his leg, but it wasn't, it wasn't very pronounced. Um, as he grew, um, it started getting worse. He went on a field trip, and when he came home, he could not walk. It was, the pain was so severe, and he was like crawling. And the following week, he couldn't even go to school because he couldn't stand on the, on the leg. I went to the doctors. They say, he's a child, he'll grow out of it. Because his dad had Plunk's disease as well. He grew out of it. My daughter had it, she grew out of it. So I was expecting him to grow out of it. But it just kept getting worse. My friend told me, why don't you call Nicholas Children's Hospital? Um, she said they might be able to help you because they were good with my son. So she gave me the number. And they gave, put me on to Carlos. Carlos was a case. Um, patient rep, and he sure did help me. He told me what I needed to do, I did. And Carlos called me back with my appointment for to see Dr. Kevin. And I came October of last year. He did an x-ray, and he told me what he was gonna do to correct the leg. I first met Grayston in, in October 2021. He has um, severe genital varum. He has a condition called uh, adolescent blounts disease which is bow legs, and it's, we've typically only seen in, in larger adolescents. So we went over different treatment options for Grayston, and in, in that treatment plan, we had to consider what his uh, so social situation was at home and what his travel situation was to Miami. When I got back to the Bahamas, um, they called me with a date for the surgery, but then my daughter passed. Huh. So then I got a, this new appointment um, to come back for the surgery. When I looked at the email and saw the amount, and I knew I wouldn't be able to, um, to afford that, it took me back to May of last year. My husband passed. So I knew there would be no way for me to, So I asked him, I mean, is there any way you can help me? Um, so he said, give me a moment. I'll, I'll find out what I can do. So he said, I, I will go and talk to my boss and see what we can do. Carlos referred your case to, to the foundation and yeah. I have some great news for you. Oh God, what is it? Give it to me. So, <laughs> so we were able to find a donor to, to fund Grayson's surgery. Okay. We we have a donor that 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 could fund Grayson surgery, and she also mm -hmm. has a place for you to stay when you come to Miami. What do? Yes. Hi. <laughs> thank you, Carlo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you, Lord. So the surgery uh, we performed is called hemiepiphysiodesis, more commonly known as guided growth. And the goal of that procedure is to improve his deformity with the uh, possibility of correcting it. So we, through relatively small incisions, we put a plate and screws at a portion of his growth plate. And at, at, since he is only 11 years of age, he has growth in his future. And uh, depending on how much growth he has left, he has the ability to improve or correct his deformity. Well, I saw him three days after surgery. He was having minimal pain and he was back to walking with his walk. We will continue to follow him uh, every three to six months and we will see how his deformities progress. I've been gracing here finally be able to get this surgery. It's a new beginning. I feel like this is a new beginning. And we get to start over. Um, for him, a lot of study has been very hard for him, so. One thing I'd love to say is thank you so much for this opportunity. It means so much to me to finally get the opportunity to do stuff that I always wanted to do.